I am. Saw a fight. Saw a fight in Manchester. Um, where actual fights. So thought I'd paint it. Why not? Eh? Um, so I'd, I was in Manchester with my friend and we'd gone to Cask on Liverpool Street near the Museum of Science and Industry, uh, which is a great pub. God, this paint is going to be tiny. Let's make it bigger. Uh, one of my favourite pubs, Cask in Manchester. I think it's got a really good atmosphere. It's a really nice space to be in. Uh, and the beer they do is always really great. Uh, and they do, oh, it's the Adam Taras Bulba um, from a, a brewery in Brussels, I think they call a Sen brewery. Uh, Taras Bulba is a great drink and uh, it's a great drink for hot weather. It's really like kind of like it's got a really nice appealing bitterness to it, sharpness. There's this kind of this kind of peppery aftertaste. Uh, and it's just really great. So, so yeah, so we were sitting there, uh, we were sitting in the window or near the window. Um, in the wind, not not in the window, not like like in a bare window, you know, just by the window. Why do I tell you this? Um, and um, we were waffling on about about art and stuff, funnily enough, and our respective uh, drafts. My friend is a um, filmmaker. And uh, artist in form of um, he's not a painter, but I think what he makes is would still be it's still art. I think. Um, anyway, we were prattling on like I am now about art and stuff and how we view it and how we make it. Uh, and I um, heard this, this kind of like shouting outside, you know, the usual noises. And, uh, and then my friend looks up and I look up and uh, it's like, it seems that there were like three topless fellas and then three fellas with the, the shirts on. And, uh, and they were scrapping. They were just scrapping in the street. <laughs> like, like idiots. <laughs> and we kind of like carry on drinking. You just sort of sit in there like. And then you sort of look around and you look at the barman. The barman's just sitting there on his phone like. And uh, yeah. So do we do, what, what happens? Do we do anything? I mean, no, not gonna go out, am I? Lads, lads. Calm down. Have you thought about the complexities of uh, an artistic struggle trying to make your own way in the world whilst re returning an individual voice? Um maybe that's what they were fighting about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking have it to you that bacon was miles better than Lucian Freud. How dare you fucking say that? <laughs> Excuse me. So, so the fight kind of died down. It was all, it seemed like handbags and that, didn't it? Uh, the fight kind of died down. Uh, and then it kept coming back. The, the three get fellas who still had the shirts on kept, kept coming back, like walking around. Mm, mm, mm. Where are they? Where are they? Looking really angry. What? <laughs> the, the shirtless fellas were nowhere to be seen. So 
Good. Scarpered or had enough, maybe more. I mean, the the ones who kept coming back looked like they were the ones who kind of lost the fight. There was one guy who kept coming back. He had a split lip and he kept holding holding his, his ribs like, oh, oh, walking around looking for him. Like, I need revenge for this because I've been... I've lost respect, lost respect. It's all about respect, isn't it? I dare they, I dare they do that. <laughs> oh, idiots. I did comment that, I mean, it was a really hot day. It's, you know, it's riot weather, it's fighting weather, still is at the moment. Um, God knows what it's like in city centres and town centres uh, at the moment. Um, I mean, maybe it's too hot to fight, mate. Right? But it's that sort of weather where people's um, tempers get frayed. Uh, just fight, fight. Mm, 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 mm. Very, uh, very entertaining. I mean, it shouldn't be, but it is. It's just the way it is. I was sitting there going, <laughs> fighting. Don't like that. Uh, how do I get rid of that? Mm. Not really getting rid of that. Um, so yeah, it reminds me. Because it was one of these things where there was a couple just like walking by, <laughs> shopping bags and that. Suddenly it gets caught up in it all, and uh, you know you can see they're they're sort of standing by, thinking, uh, "What do I do? We can't get past these idiots." Just want to go to my car. Um, it struck me how normal it all was, how things just carry on. And I've had this feeling before um, when I saw an armed robbery. <laughs> uh, I'd been to visit friends in Leeds with my wife, a town called Lee, a small town in the northwest near Wigan. That's where I studied um, music. Pop music. Uh, you one never stops studying pop music. Um, and, um, we'd called in at Asta to fill up at a petrol station. No, we hadn't. No, 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 no. We'd been to Asta to get some food. On the way out, the petrol station is kind of at near the exit. And so... We're driving towards the exit, and this car, see this car, so this kind of sound like it's zoom across us, pull into the petrol station. So we stopped, gosh, we had to stop to let the car pass. And these guys got out and <laughs> went up to the um, kiosk and started banging on it. And it takes a couple of seconds for you to realize that what's going on and then it's like oh oh my god there's a there's a robbery taking place what do we do so we're just sitting there in the car and uh there was a guy just filling up he stood there like, uh, <laughs> he's filling up in the time it took for him to fill his car up so he just carried on filling the car up uh they had gone back in the car and buggered off. I think they, they, it was really quick, and I assume they got into the kiosk and got got the money and got out. And uh, this uh, this fellas like stood there like, uh, what do I do now? The kiosk had shut. They had swiftly shut all the shutters. Um, so to his credit, he didn't just drive off. He walks over to the supermarket to tell them. Um, but. Uh, what was really fascinating is how normal it was. Things just carried on. He carried on filling his tank up. And uh, we just kind of, kind of like went home. We'd, we'd seen that someone had gone to report it. So there wasn't much else we could do. So I went home, I did phone the police afterwards and said, look, I've, I was there. Um, can't give you much information, but if you need to know anything, you know, I'm around and they called me back, confirmed it 
There was a gun involved. It was an armed robbery. Man, crazy. Uh, but, yeah, kind of really normal, but exciting at the same time. Really, really odd, this um, banality of violence. Hey, stuff like this just happens, and it's not like in a film where everything stops and it's all about that violent moment. It's um, it's much more normal than that, and stuff just carries on. Life just goes on. I miss this um, ex moment of extreme violence. Um. Oh yeah, it's very entertaining, uh, very thrilling, I should say. Not for the um, poor buggers who were in the kiosk, but the awful for them. Yeah, really interesting. I hope it's interesting, otherwise you've switched off, haven't you? Um, so yeah, so I'm doing it anyway. What am I doing here, painting this fella? He's too small, he's too big now. Uh, I'm going to have to make this guy kind of short um it's difficult sometimes when when you're just painting straight on maybe i should try a video where like a lot of artists will put guidelines in guidelines in pencil first i wonder what it's like if you do your guidelines in paint as well maybe i should try that could be quite interesting so those lines will be visible no, oh. might be fun. Might be fun to do. So there we go. That's his fella's legs. They look all right. He looks like a giant. I know he's going to win this fight. Mind you, topless fella. What is it? We fellas like better take me take me shirt off. I'm scrapping. Take me fucking shirt off. Like they mean business. Better show them how fat I am. <laughs> yeah, this is it. You're having a fight, Barry. Get your shirt off. Show him how out of shape you are. I'll fucking show him. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But I don't get violence. It's... Um, kind of not in me we had this discussion afterwards it's like what what is it because you get the similar thing when um with the whole football hooligan thing in the 80s what was going on there why were these young men wanting to get together to fight why why don't i want to do that it's interesting but then um i used to like watching boxing as a kid so i was getting my sort of a still getting my fix of violence uh, vicariously uh why why is it we, that we're into that i love cop films i really do love like especially you know european crime films and that italian ones from the 70s which are really violent really violent uh i have no idea why i like that i just do it's strange um Oh yeah, fascinates me. I have no idea why. Now I'm going to just do features on this fella's face. Need it to be slightly washed out. This this photo I'm working from, I can't show you. Maybe I'll work out to do that next time. Is a still from, looks like it was taken on a mobile phone of an actual fight. Um, so it's uh, blurred, again looks a bit like a painting already in that the colours kind of go into each other. Uh, the caption, it's from a newspaper that is terrible, oh it's from the Mirror, well it's a terrible newspaper if you ask me. The headline is, go on daddy, cheering kids encourage shirtless man as he treads blows in street brawl. <laughs> Go on, Daddy. <laughs> kill him. Literally kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy won. 
he killed the he killed the bad man. He ripped his head off. <laughs> Go on, Daddy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So, I wonder whether to, oh, maybe, I, should I add that? There you go. I need to add that text, don't I? Yeah. And if I planned it, I'd have arranged my characters in a way that the text would fit around them, but I'm just going to improvise and see what happens. What colour? I'm going to use this colour because it's really weird colour to use in the context of violence. Um, it's cobalt turquoise just because I love it. Maybe I just put, go on daddy. You see me rehearsing the moves, I don't know where it's going. Against him there in a little block. See that. Hmm. Well, I've gone for it. Yes, I am doing it back to front. Uh, just so I make sure that the the letters are flush with with Daddy. That is Daddy. Who's the Daddy? Go on, Daddy. In fact, he is, he is Daddy. It says cheering kids encourage shirtless man. There he is. That's Daddy. He's fighting a fella in a big red puffer jacket. Uh, in the photo, it looks like it's raining. So Daddy is proper hard because he's took his shirt off and it's fucking raining. Whoa, whoa. Could get wet. Oh, I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. It's a short one today. Uh, still like nearly 20 minutes. Um, but I've said everything I want to say with that little painting. Uh, what fun. <laughs> so now, uh, your mission today is uh, go out, maybe to a pub, Find the fights uh, and paint it. And if you can't find one, try and start one, then get out of it and then paint it. All right. Yeah, cool. Bye.